Hey, this is Tobin at Virtual Storefronts. We're here at uh, the Rain Boutique with Taylor Rain, who is about to have a major event. And we got Jamel. Hey, there he is. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? Uh, All right. <laughs> Jamel uh, created Taylor's Virtual Storefront. And now we're delivering it, and Taylor just got it. So we're going to show you. This is, we're at Rain Boutique here, Jamel. And I'm going to try to get all of this together. Can you see Taylor? Yeah. Yes. Hi. Okay. Hey, how are you? <laughs> so, oh, you're going fine. And um, so, Jamel, uh, what do you think of the, the virtual storefront, Taylor? I love it. You love it? Yeah, it has everything on there. It has everything you need? Yep. You do, you need, do you need a website now? Uh, no. <laughs> That's kind of all I need. How, how was it? How, how was um? How was it to, to get it made? Was uh, it, was super it hard? easy. I didn't have to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, Lori's not here, but but your next door neighbor Lori gifted yes. you this virtual storefront. Yes. So, so you didn't have to fill out the online no. form. But had you had to fill it out, it would have been like five minutes. Yeah, I had already looked at it and started the process, and it was like the easiest thing ever. Uh, Awesome. <laughs> uh, we are glad to help you. And, um, and J Jamel, I, I want you to um, talk about your thought process just briefly about how that worked when you were doing the virtual storefront. Um, you were thinking about not just what's here, but what she might do in the future. You want to talk about that a little bit? Sure. So as you know, with boutiques, their inventory is always rotating. So I wanted to make sure when I was creating her storefront that I included items that she may potentially have so that if someone is interested in those items, they wouldn't miss out on coming in and stopping by at her business. Um, with that being said, when creating her storefront, I also tried to think like a customer, you know, what would a customer be looking for and what would, what would they search if they were looking for certain things? That's, that's how I like to think when it comes to creating a storefront, because I want, I want to connect the customer to the business. And the best way to do that, in my opinion, is to think like the customer. Nice. What do you think of that, Taylor? Yeah, that's, that's a really good idea because I do have, I'm always trying to get new stuff in and like we're just looking at bathing suits, which I hadn't planned to do, but now it's kind of evolving into, it's based on what customers ask for. So I like that you've thought ahead of what I would possibly be having in here.